another week, another vlog. I'm very proud of this track record I'm amassing here. I think we're at four weeks in a row. And last week, if you tuned in, you saw that I was on the road, so not a massive amount of crafting has been done, but a massive amount of wintering has happened. It is Halloween today, and it is snowing. Welcome to the Midwest. So I am very cold, um, but mostly feeling the extra cozy vibes of all of the various woolly projects that I want to work on. But funny enough, I'm working mostly with cotton right now. So last week I did successfully finish the Halloween costume, made a Jedi cloak on my very short amount of time at home, and that has already debuted once for a Halloween party and will be worn again tonight. And um, I had my own costume. I'm going as a skeleton, which you maybe saw a couple weeks ago here on the vlog. I had my crocheted skeleton corset shirt. I can't find it for the life of me. I was just tearing apart this room looking for it a second ago. No clue where it is. Um, so that's the only place it's been, is on me in this room. So it's somewhere in the house, so I'm gonna try to find that later to wear out. But besides all the Halloweening that's been happening, there is also orange catening. So please meet Video Magic. pumpkin, spice, and latte. They are very small and hanging out in the house right now because their mom is not great. Um, but she's fine. She comes in every now and then and hangs out with them, but she would rather be doing other things, unfortunately. So these are our cute screaming babies who maybe will be screaming in the background before I finish recording this. Other projects. As you can see here with this video magic, I haven't finished that spinning yet. There's a ridiculously small amount left and maybe I'll get to that tonight. I'm not sure. I haven't finished it yet because I opted to work on an entirely new project. Um, also, instead of making the last few rows of the panel I was working on, denim jacket that also hasn't been finished or sewn in, um, I decided to start an entirely new project. I had put up a poll here on YouTube as well as on the public side of my Patreon page to see what should be my next design. Um, because obviously since I haven't written up all the other patterns in my queue, I should start something entirely new, um, which I did. And I'm pretty pleased with how this snail backpack is coming. It's, it's always a ridiculous design, right? Like, we're never going to make something normal. So how the snurse or snail backpack is going to work, there'll be a zipper on the underside of the belly, and then you can put all your important belongings up inside the belly and shell of the snail. As you can see, I've only just started the body. It's going to be, you know, pretty big, pretty uh, voluminous and ruffly, if you will. So I'm looking forward to making some more progress on this, as well as getting it a little closer to finished. I was very happy with the math and how that came out for the shell. I was able to do, um, for most of it, actually stay pretty true to the Fibonacci sequence, which is what actual snail shells uh, ratios are for their different spiral segments. So big nerd. I was very proud of that. Um, it worked up until about here when I started getting scared. I was going to run out of this nice green yarn. So I went off sequence and made sure that it was going to work out to be able to finish the shell on both sides. So this has worked with spirally portion on one side, more flatter portion on the other side, seamed together, and then you stitch directly onto the shell to make the body. I'm excited about this one. I think it's gonna be really cute. 
Um, my biggest fan slash critic has already laid claim to this one when it is done, so hopefully we will have some very wonderful woodland, mossy, mottled shots once the snail is done and the snow melts, which should happen by the end of the week. Other than that, I haven't really worked on a lot of projects. Um, the shell of the snail was most of the weekend. I, I ripped it out a few different times and had lots of different thoughts about how I was going to do it um, before landing on letting math help me out. Um, and I'm very pleased with it. I think it's going to be cute. I think it's going to be a cute little backpack. I had also thought about making it kind of a convertible bag so that you could carry it as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, with the way I was gonna do the straps of the backpack because if you're gonna carry it I feel like you'd want to carry from the top of the shell, right? Maybe? I don't know. Weigh in your thoughts. Would you rather have a crossbody snail bag or a backpack? This version at least will definitely be backpack, but I may put instructions in the final pattern of how to alter it to carry it as a crossbody. You'd have to change the zipper location. So we might need to make a second version. I don't know. We'll see. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're excited to see the finished snail backpack, if you are interested in seeing behind the scenes and more updates, you can always join on Patreon and jump into the Discord. It's a great place to get my ramblings, and behind the scene photos of what I'm working on in the design process. That's a short update this week. I completely forgot to mention my adventure to the Chicago textile warehouse. I finally got lining for the crocheted ball gown and then had some other shenanigans. Very fun. Thanks for tuning in, as always, to the studio vlog, and until next time, stay crafty.